Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and happy new year. This is my first video of 2016 and I want to do something wearable but still a little glam. So I did like a purple, it's not really a smoky eye but it's just a purple all around like just sparkly eye and I really like how it came out. I've been really in like the purple moods lately so I wanted to do a purple look and I just kept the lips simple with a nice pink nude shade and yeah everything else is just the same um you guys may not notice because i wear my hair in a top knot for most of my videos but i did cut five inches off my hair my hair was like down to like my butt like maybe not down to my butt but very 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 long and i didn't even realize how long my hair was but i cut five inches off and i felt I love this haircut. I feel like the long hair, I've never had long hair and the long hair was just like, just too much for me. I was like over it. It would take forever to do like, it would, because my hair is like crazy curly, like frizzy, crazy curls. So I cut five inches off and yeah, so I love how my hair looks now. I think it's just a really good haircut and yeah, I go to... A place near me of course if you guys want to know where I get my hair cut just let me know in the comments below but yeah so this is my first look of 2016 I really hope you guys enjoy it yeah this is the final look I really hope you guys like it let me know if you have any requests or want me to do any other looks in the comments below make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that way you don't miss out on videos Oh, and I also wanted to thank you guys for 600 subscribers. Thank you so much. I literally, I like woke up and I was like, oh my god, this is, like, I cannot believe we're halfway to 1,000. But yeah, so when we hit 1,000, we are going to be doing a huge giveaway. But yeah, so I will see you in my next video and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye guys. Alright guys, you know the drill. As usual, we're going to be priming our eyelids with just a concealer that I have. And then setting that with a nude shade, and I use this uh, in the Carly Bible palette by BH Cosmetics. I will be using this palette throughout the tutorial. It is an amazing palette. I highly recommend it, and it's only $12.50, so I recommend that. I will leave a link for it down below. Then going in with that uh, kind of like a plum shade, the light plum, and putting that in my crease and just rocking it back and forth. And this is going to be our transition shade, and I took it a little on my lid as well, just because I wanted the whole look to be kind of smoky and dark and purpley. Then going in with the shade right next to it, it's the darker plum in the uh, palette, and taking that all over my lid, not all over, but kind of like half my lid, leaving my like inner corner bare. Then we're going to be going in with the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette, and I'm taking the color called Lavender. I wanted to make this look a little bit more purpley, so I put the lavender in my crease and kind of all over my eye, kind of very sloppily, and then I will go in with the Lorac Mega, 2, Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette and put the color called Purple in my crease and just kind of all over my eye. I really wanted to make this look very purple, so that is what I did. After that, I'm going to be spraying my brush with my setting spray, and I'm going to be going in with a shade called Soft Plum. It's like a shimmery, plummy shade uh, in the palette, in the Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette, and putting that all over my lid, as you see right here. Then I'm going to be going in with the first highlighter shade in the, uh, in the, in the palette by Carly Bible, and putting that on my inner corner as well as my brow bone. These highlighters are no joke. They are absolutely stunning. Now taking the lit, uh, what is it called? The NYC liquid liner, and I'm going to be putting liner on my lids, of course. Now taking the tape off, we are just going to be fixing the liner a little bit with my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This liner is actually amazing. I'm not one for a felt tip liner, but this liner is very like pigmented and the color comes out amazing and it really helps me fix up my liner. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to be taking a makeup wipe and just fixing up everything, taking uh, all the fallout off just because I did have quite a bit of fallout. Then just taking a black liner pencil, any black liner will do, and putting that on my tight line. And then I'm going to be taking a white 
or not white, kind of like a nude pencil. It's from Revlon in my waterline. After that, we're going to be applying lashes. I used the Doodoo Lashes in the style D207. And now moving on to face, I'm trying out this new Nivea After Balm primer that Nikki Tutorials recommends. So far, I really, really liked it. Um, I can't report back to you with a full review, but I will definitely use it a bunch more times and let you know how I feel about it. But my first time using it, I really did like it, and my makeup did hold up the whole day. Now just going in with some foundation, I'm using my favorite foundation of life. It is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation, and I'm just uh, putting that all over my face as you see here. Now going in with the Becca Under Eye Correcting Concealer, or Under Eye Corrector, I think that's what it's called. And I love this. I feel like it really does brighten up my face as well as brightening up my concealer as well as taking some of the blue undertones out of my dark circles. So yeah, we're just blending that out with a beauty blender and I'm just really getting in there. I'm using quite, I'm using, I'm really trying to use the pointy side and if not, I'll just use my finger to blend it out. After that, we're going to be applying some concealer and I'm just using the LA Girl Concealer. I think it's in like the lightest shade that they have and just blending it out with my good old Sigma F86 brush. I haven't used this brush in so long. I recently just washed all my brushes, so I was like, oh my god, I haven't used this in forever. So I'm using this today because it's been forever, and I forgot how much I actually love this brush. So that, again, this is a Sigma F86 brush. Then taking uh, some Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just setting my under eye at basically anywhere where I put concealer because I don't want to get oily throughout the day. Then after that, I'm going to be bronzing up my skin with the, uh, what is it called, the H&M bronzer, um, it's from H&M of course, and just bronzing up my skin a little bit, I kind of like this uh, foundation routine that I have going on, so I'm going to be doing an in-depth one, I'll probably get that up for you by the end of the week, but now just taking the Bahama Mama by the Bomb, and I'm going to be contouring my face with this shade of course, and after that I'm going to be baking my face with the Airspun powder, I found this at Walmart, and it's the cheapest at Walmart, I think it was like five or six dollars at Walmart Walmart, and um, I think on Walgreens it was like eight dollars so definitely try out Walmart to get the airspun powder but yeah so after that we're gonna be going in with blush and this is a Smashbox blush it kinda has like four different shades I think it's a couple more different shades in the uh, the packaging or whatever it's called the compact and I'm just putting that on my cheeks and then after that I will be contouring my nose with the Bahama Mama powder after that, we're going to be highlighting our face. I'm using the first two shades in the Carly Bible palette, and I, can, I have nothing bad to say about these two, or any of these colors. They are absolutely amazing, insanely pigmented. I love this palette. It is amazing. But yeah, so just, uh, what's, just highlighting my face with that. I'm putting that on my cheekbones, a little bit on my forehead, my nose, and my cupid's bow. Then after that, I'm going to be putting some lip liner on. This is one from Clinique. I've had this for years. And it's just a nude lip liner. And I'm going in with Airy Fairy. I think it's by Revlon. I could be wrong. Again, I'll link it down below for you. And then after that, I'm taking the Buxom Lip Gloss in the color called White Russian. This is my go-to lip gloss. I absolutely love this lip gloss so much. It is amazing. I want to go and get more, actually, just because of how much I love it. Now just wiping away the powder that I put under my contour, I guess, and then taking that dark plum shade and just really smoking out my lower lash line, staying away from the white eyeliner because I wanted it to be like a contrast of like the white eyeliner with the dark purple smoky eye. Just putting on some mascara here from Jordana Best Lash Extreme, setting my face, and we are done. This is the final look guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look and my first tutorial of 2016. I can't wait to film some more tutorials for you. Uh, let me know what you want to see in the comments below. I love you and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye guys. Racing all these broken dreams tonight.